Good morning guys, today we're going to be talking about um, FRP or Google Lock removal from a Galaxy S9. The model number is um, SMG960W. W is the Canadian model and if it's a SMG960U, that's an American model. Um, the the video should um, indicate uh, instructions on how to remove a uh, Google account if you've uh, forgotten your password for some reason and did a factory reset. Um, uh, this video should be sufficient enough uh, for both models, the American and the Canadian version. So let's uh, let's get into it. So the phone's right there, and uh, uh, basically, if I'm gonna try to go inside, uh, it won't let me. It will ask for the Google credentials, and um, if you don't have the Google credentials, it will not let you go past uh, the screen. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to require a USB cable, a Windows-based computer, a um, couple of files that you have to download, which I'm going to provide the link to, and uh, uh, we can uh, remove this. Uh, the process should up approximately take about 15 to 20 minutes so first of all we're gonna be downloading uh, a file named combination which is uh, a factory uh, based ROM by Samsung uh, we're gonna flash that to this Galaxy S9 in order for us to proceed so let's get um, on the computer I've already downloaded the files to my PC but I will provide the link for Google Drive for you guys to download so let's get let's go there okay guys so we're here on our computer now and a uh, couple of things that we need uh, to do this is uh, uh, first of all we will need Odin Odin is a program required to flash Samsung ROMs to the to the phones so we're gonna we're in the Windows based environment so uh, run your Odin and uh, go to the Go, go to this AP tab. Once you go to this AP tab, this is the file that you've downloaded. Um, G960U combination. Double click on it and it's selected here. Once it's selected, we need to connect our phone to the PC. In order to do that, we would need a USB cable. So if you remember the, the phone's on the store. Um, the Google verification screen so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the phone off and we're gonna put it in download mode this is a little bit tricky so I'm gonna to try to demonstrate it here we're gonna hold the volume down the Bixby and the power button all simultaneously for about three to four seconds and then it's gonna display a warning sign uh, custom OS can cause critical problems once you see this just press volume up and we get into download mode uh, now all you need to do is connect it to the USB cable and on our PC we can go and press start so guys once we press the start button uh, you would notice that um, there's a status bar that's uh, getting um, started here that the little green bar here and it's going to complete all the way up to here and it's flashing the phone with the combination firmware so this would take about a couple of minutes so I'll just um, I'll just fast forward or pause the video and once it's completed we're going to go back to the phone and uh, we're going to see what happens to the phone so guys on the phone side you will see downloading and there's also a status bar that's going from left to right uh, once this is completed the phone will reboot in uh, Samsung binary uh, factory binary mode so we will wait for that give it another couple of minutes and uh, should that okay guys so the combination firmware has been flashed 
as you can see and um, now we can go to the next step of uh, removing the Google FRP lock so once you're on this step you gotta go back to your computer and you gotta run the Samsung FRP bypass bat file once you do that then we can go back and uh, flash stock ROM and uh, the Google lock so guys uh, we gotta go back to the PC and go to this uh, bypass uh, bypass FRP folder and there's this um, S9 FRP bypass bat file once we run this once we run this this should remove um, any Google account on the phone so just press any key on the keyboard to continue and it should do it and then we just gotta go back to our phone and do the factory reset so on the phone side we're gonna go in apps we're gonna go in settings uh, system reset we'll do factory data reset reset the phone and erase everything once you do this uh, process the last part is to flash stock ROM using uh, Odin again from uh, Windows so let's go do that part that's the last part okay guys so you gotta put the phone in download mode um, because we're gonna be flashing the phone so once you have the phone in download mode we're gonna go back to Odin and then we're gonna flash the stock ROM uh, so now we're going to use all these four tabs uh, first click on BL and then uh, the file link for the stock ROM I will provide uh, select BL from here uh, once you do AP you got to select AP in there CP CP and just like that corresponding CSC to CSC once you have these all files loaded in these four tabs just press the start button and then uh, Odin will start uh, flashing stock ROM to your Galaxy S9 again you will see uh, there's a status bar here which uh, keeps moving uh, slower now because it's uh, stock ROM it's um, generally um, bigger than the combination ROM so this will take about five to six minutes depending on your PC so we'll just uh, fast forward the video so on your phone you will see downloading and a status bar moving here uh, while the stock ROM is being flashed so we will wait for this to finish once this is finished uh, you should be able to bypass your Google lock on your Galaxy S9 okay guys the stock ROM flashing has been completed and uh, it shows by uh, it shows pass on uh, Odin and um, on the phone it will do um, a reset and once the reset is completed uh, it will take roughly a couple of minutes maybe about four maybe minutes to uh, to go back to the welcome screen um, we will wait for the phone to start and uh, see the result okay guys the phone has rebooted and it's on the start screen so let's check it out if um, the Google lock has been removed or not so as you can see it did not ask me to connect to Wi-Fi or ask for any Google account uh, information I'm just selecting all the choices to just go inside the phone as you can see we're inside the phone and there's no there's no Google account on it so so um, Google account has been removed uh, all the links are posted please do subscribe to um, our channel and uh, leave comments if you need another if you need help with uh, another device that needs uh, FRP removal and we will try our best to uh, make a video on it and post it. Thank you very much and have a great day.